Well, Gaffer, a very difficult place to come and you come away with a 4-0 win and arguably probably the best performance of the season? Yeah, so, certainly up there. We've had, some, we've had some special performances on the road, haven't we? And we should be 2 or 3-0 ahead by the time we get the opening goal. And um, then to be fair to us, we played some special football. We had two great goals from, from Ivan. And how the boy Ripley's got to Ivan's for a hat-trick before half-time, it's, it's live, it's an incredible save. Um, we spoke about the hunger and desire that John Coleman and Jimmy Bell's teams have. That didn't change at half-time. The game plan didn't change. And then we, we go and get two goals. We could have more as well. And uh, we could, you know, and, and the boys defended properly all over the pitch and we put a shift in. But, you know, we, uh, we never got too high uh, today. We never got too low after Barnsley. It's, it's all part of the mix. I think Steve Evans needs to take some credit for the, for the formation, for the players he deployed today. You had Dembele up top with, with Tony and he caused them no end of problems. No, the players get the credit. The players have executed the plan that was implemented, if you like. Um, one or two surprises to, to some people around us when I said yesterday how we were going to go. Um, but I wanted the threat of Sariki with, with his pace and his trickery. Um, Arquinton are very, very good defensively. Let's not mince my words here. Very, very good. And then the opposite to that, they're very good going forward with a wonderful front four. And you could see at times if we're not on our metal today, they'd cause us problems, Phil. So, um, but we're not going to, you know, we, we've come here. Ivan's got himself another hat trick, which is good. Um, one or two results have gone away. It just, listen, you need to look in or in the levels today and, and see how difficult it is to win games. I think Spurs have lost at Watford. I think Salford have lost up at Barrow. The supporters won't look at the conference, but it's a, it's a tough, tough league. And you look at the resources that's been spent there. It, it's not that they're a bad team or a bad performance. I don't know how that game's gone other than the loss, but it just shows you how tough it is to win football matches. Yeah, he deployed Woodyard in a further forward role. He worked his socks off in that position, really didn't let them play. Well, that's the Woodyard I signed. And uh, it was the Woodyard of early season. Um, He's been, he's been criticised like a lot of us has and you have to treat it, as I said to all the group, you know, we'll, we'll treat it as, as professionals, you know, supporters pay the hard earned money. Incredible posh following here after a poor performance at Barnsley and uh, and I'm delighted that they'll make the, the trip home. We, we're such a good win. This is, this is, I can't underestimate how tough this is to come and win. I think Pompey have drawn here, I think Sunderland were drawn, it got postponed late, Donny have lost, etc. It's, it's really tough, but we were, we were outstanding today. It could have been, could have been seven or eight, and, and I, I say that with we, we words of caution. Two hat-tricks in 19 days for Ivan Tony. Some great goals, but actually, wonderful defending as well. He ran the length of the field there to um, to stop them from scoring after what running the length of the field the other way about two minutes previous. We have a championship striker playing in League One. That's what we have at Ivan Tony, The chairman, in fairness to him, and the directors, the board, they, they spent a lot of money on him, but I made it clear who my number one choice was as a striker, and it was Ivan Tony. And um, we said it when he first arrived that he needed to get sharper and fitter and endure that. And he had to watch he had to watch Gordon and Cummings being very, very good. But um, he's he's led the line well today. But it's not just about him. I was, I was pleased with my with my back five today. Young Tyler Denton has produced a mature performance against arguably as good as there is on the right side of any midfield. You know, and the boy Clark, I think there is probably only Marcus that uh, that I would put above him. So. Um, listen, we, we, it's, it's a tough game. We've got a win. We've got three points. Now we um, we turn into 2019, and um, we know that we need to sort form out of their backs, and we need to have a lot of those type of performances on the road if we're if we're going to win games.